Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing on all your guys' requests this delicious beef tikka kadai recipe since Eid ul Adha is right around the corner inshallah. I thought this would be a good treat and a yummy recipe to share with all of you guys so you guys can make it for your guys' families and enjoy on Eid day or anytime soon inshallah. So this recipe requires simple ingredients, just requires a little time standing around and basically frying this up until it releases the oil and gets really nicely fried up. So I'm using beef for this. You guys can use lamb, you guys can use goat, or you guys can even use this method for chicken. But this is a very, very famous, delicious recipe of mine. And inshallah, I hope you guys will all enjoy. So let's get started. I'm using about two pounds of lean beef and the reason why I call it a tikka karai is because I cut the pieces into small small tikka pieces you guys can cut them big you guys can have them any size but for this recipe I would um, recommend you guys to cut them up small like this now as you guys can see I have two onions and I have two large heapful spoons of ginger and garlic paste I've added that to a pot I've added some black pepper some salt And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water and I'm going to let this cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. I added about two and a half cups of water and you want to keep this on a medium flame. You want to watch this for about 30 to 35 minutes and you want to make sure that it doesn't burn. So if you guys are going to go do something else, just make sure you come back to this to check up on it so it does not burn. Now I'm going to leave the onions whole like this because these tend to get really soft and tend to just kind of melt inside the karai if you cut them into little little um if you cut them up to little little pieces if you dice them it might have like pieces in there or they might tend to stay hard or then what you guys can do is crush them like in a blender but i would prefer you guys to do it this way it's really easy and really good just close with the lid and let it cook after 20 minutes this is what it looks like just wanted to show you guys and about 30 to 35 minutes here's what we have like i said just make sure it doesn't burn and at this time you guys can just mix it all up add a little bit of water maybe a few tablespoons more if you guys have to but at this time what i do now is i add the oil so i have all the measurements in a list down below so just click down um, and i'll have the list of ingredients but see the onions are so soft and tender i've added in some oil and now um, i'm going to add some green chili peppers and some tomatoes you want to add red ripe tomatoes juicy tomatoes in here and you want to add a good amount so i'm adding about three large tomatoes and two green chilies from my garden as you guys can see i'm using red ripe tomatoes and we've already added salt in the beginning so we're not going to add a lot of salt in this um, if i have to i'll add just a little but i've added in a teaspoon in the beginning um, and now i'm going to go ahead and add in my spices just mix the tomatoes and the green chilies up together really nice like this and they will tend to get soft after we add in our spices i'll add a little bit of more water you want to use your lid to help soften and moisten this up like this here are my spices i'm going to use some crushed coriander some zeta cumin some red paprika powder red chili powder turmeric and i'm going to go ahead and just all add all this in and just mix up and this smells so yummy at this time with all the spices and the tomato and the green chili and stuff that garai with the black pepper it's really really good guys i know you guys will definitely enjoy this recipe please do consider liking my video and share with your friends and family if you guys enjoy and don't forget to tag me guys if you guys make this let me know what you guys think so I'm just making sure I mix everything up together and I've added a little bit of more water, half a cup of water, and then you want to just close with the lid. That way the tomatoes and everything will soften up and it will start to release its oil. You guys might have to do this twice. 
and then eventually it will start to release its oil fry up really nice and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some yogurt after we add in our yogurt we're just going to make sure that we mix it all together like i had said earlier add a tablespoon or two of water as needed if you guys need it but we're gonna basically like kind of fry this like buna buna fry type making sure that it you know fries up in the yogurt and the tomatoes and that way it will release its oil and, and become so delicious So friends, now it is the final part. We're all done. It's up to you guys if you guys want to add a little bit of water at this time or if you guys want to, you know, keep it like a karai like this. Um, it has released its oils. The tomatoes are all soft. Onions are all soft. The green chilies are even soft. And you guys can add or squeeze some lemon juice at this time. You guys can cut some coriander, fresh green coriander or mint, um, some ginger, um, and some more green chili peppers or slices of green chili if you guys want to I'm just going to add a few for just decoration I'm gonna add some ginger and I am going to add some greens to this so I hope and pray that this recipe was easy for you guys that you guys enjoyed it this is how I always make it you guys always ask for the recipe since Eid's just right around the corner i hope and pray you guys will make this for your family for your friends for your davits and get together don't forget to tag me leave your comments down below let me know what other beef recipe you guys want to um, see i'm also going to be uploading a new recipe tomorrow on how to use leftover beef salad to make a delicious palau and that is really good around the qurbani days or around eid al adha so i'm going to be sharing that with you guys as well but you guys can serve this with chutneys with naan with fresh salad however you guys want to it's delicious the meats are already soft tomato and yogurt give it the amazing taste we've added ginger garlic in the beginning so hopefully you guys did understand and enjoy the way i made this and i want you guys to take care have a very blessed eid with your loved ones and your family and stay tuned for my next video inshallah